Hey everybody, it's David Harris Jr. here and you're watching me on Bob Smoke TV. There's, uh, there's also policies that, uh, as a Christian, that I could never side with. You know, I, I was raised with a rich heritage of faith, faith in God. I love the Bible. I love Papa. I call him Papa. He's our daddy. He's our father. Yeshua, our older brother, Jesus, uh, and Holy Spirit. I'm a tongue-talking believer, and I think a lot of us have been raised to understand and respect God and understand His ways. In understanding God and, in, and having a, a heritage, a spiritual heritage like so many of us have had in this country, we understand the value of human life. And we understand that that value is not placed on that human life once it comes out of the womb, but there's value on that human life when it's still inside the womb. The Bible says that God spoke and said, when you were fashioned in your mother's womb, I knew you and knit together your most inward parts and gave you a destiny and a hope and a future. So for those of us that believe God, how can we then support any policy or any platform that goes against God and his word? It is 100% murder, just like it is if the baby's out of the womb, if they're still in the womb. And the other really hard thing is that it's been a genocide against the black community in this country. The black population in our country would be double today if Roe versus Wade hadn't gone through. Millions, 26 million babies have been murdered in this country, black babies. And it's something that I believe is even being targeted against the black community. 80% of abortion clinics in this country are positioned within walking distance of black communities. So I, for one, was never a person that could support a party's platform that supported not only abortion, but the potential genocide and minimizing of our community. So I want you to really think about these things and think about the lives of unborn babies. When you think about the, the lives of unborn babies and realize that it's against God's word for us to do any harm to those babies, how could you support a party that stakes a claim on ending innocent babies' lives? I'm David J. Harris Jr. I've got a book called Why I Couldn't Stay Silent where I share more about my beliefs and why I believe we should vote our values, not vote a party line, not vote because, not vote because of what our parents voted, our grandparents, our aunts, our uncles, our sisters, and not cast our vote based on what other people might think about us. But literally value, valuing our vote and casting our vote based on what we believe, what our values are. As we do that and as we do that together, I believe we'll see amazing changes in this country. So DavidHarrisJr.com is where you can find out more about me. I hope this has blessed you, and I pray God would speak to you through this and tug on your heart and cause you to change. Just look at your perspective and be willing to change it if what I said resonates. God bless you.